Hey everybody and welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, the author of The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss, and this is where I show you recipes that will help you achieve and maintain healthy, permanent, and sustainable weight loss. Today I'm going to show you a really easy, delicious recipe, caramelized onions made in the crock pot. This is not my recipe. I cannot take any credit for it. I found this recipe on a blog called cookistry.com. I use this recipe as part of another recipe for episode 155 of Weight Loss Wednesday, the caramelized onions, potatoes, and cabbage. And people kept saying, show me how to do it. There's really not much to show, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. And lots of questions. How else can we caramelize onions? Can we do it in the pressure cooker? The short answer is you can do it any way you want, but if you really want to taste it, the most delicious way possible, rich and depth of flavor that almost tastes like French onion soup, actually it does, that this is really the best way to do it. I have a recipe in my first book on process for how to make caramelized onions in the oven. It's a great recipe, but man, this is unparalleled for just unbelievable flavor and you don't need any oil or sugar or salt. I've showed you other videos on this channel how to actually caramelize onions without oil. That's the name of the video. And it, it's pretty good, but it's not like this. And yes, you can do it in a pressure cooker, but it's using the saute function, it takes several, takes several hours. But this is the best way. It's the easiest way. You can get a pressure cooker for you know, a, a really reasonable price, but a crock pot, these are really cheap. This was less than $20 at Walmart. This is a Hamilton Beach. The reason I did the cabbage and potato recipe with caramelized onions is I was following Ann West's recipe, which called for three large onions, a huge head of cabbage, and two pounds of potatoes. I hope you'll check out episode 155. And when I put the onions in the crock pot, it was full. I couldn't figure out where I was gonna put the two pounds of potatoes and the large head of cabbage. I'm just assuming maybe she had a bigger crock pot and I didn't know what to do and I had already dirtied the crock pot so I remembered this recipe. I simply chopped, or sliced rather, three large onions. I have a red, a sweet, and a yellow. You don't put anything in, you don't use any water, nothing. You just put it in your crock pot. You close the top. Plug it in, of course. And then you put it on low. There's three settings on mine, warm, low, and high. You put it on low, set it, forget it. I will come back in 24 hours because that's how long it takes. So 21 is usually enough, but 24 is best. Come back in 24 hours and show you what it looks like. It's incredible. You can use it for soups and stews. It's delicious over mashed potatoes. It's delicious on any kind of vegetable salad on my Chipotle bean burger or even my best beanless burger or you can freeze them. This can be a game changer for so many of you that are struggling to love vegetables, but you're gonna have to wait 24 hours to see what it looks like when it's done. Well, I didn't make it exactly 24 hours because it's time to go to bed. I shouldn't put this up before bed, but it's been 21 hours and let me show you what it looks like. I haven't done anything to it. I'm going to just turn the crock pot off now. I'm gonna open the top. If you like this one, you can just go to my Amazon store and see it now. These are these beautiful slow cooked caramelized onions. Oh my God, they are good for everything. I mean, it's really just like French onion soup. Make sure you use that broth for other things. And you know, people, I know you're gonna ask, can I do this in a pressure cooker? Can I do this in a pot? You can, it's just not gonna be like this. That's like saying, well, I don't have an oven to you know, roast my sweet potatoes and get them nice and caramelized. Is it okay if I microwave them? Sure, but you know, results take time and it's worth it. I mean, you can get a crock pot for less than 20 bucks at Walmart. So just do it, look at that. And you can freeze these, I'm told. I haven't done it yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these cool and I actually am going to freeze these to make episode 155's recipe of the caramelized onions, potatoes, and cabbage. I hope you'll try this recipe and enjoy it. If you like what you see, please subscribe so that you never miss a recipe. I'm Chef AJ, thank you for watching. I make healthy taste delicious so that you can have the health and the body that you so richly deserve. Enjoy.